do you know what days of the month a woman ovulates? Um, is it just like before her cycle though? Like, or is it like a certain day? I thought it was just like before the cycle. You're right on both counts. Okay, I don't know like a specific day. I just know before the cycle. Right. Yeah. I know only because I have an app that tells me, but I'm not really 100% on it. And I don't really pay attention to it since I don't have anything to really think about in that area at the time. So. No. But if you had to guess, just because we all take sex ed class or just some form of conversations we have with our girlfriends, if you had to guess, when would you say that time of the month where we're most fertile? Uh, Dang, I'm mixing up either like right before or right after. I know it's like really close though. Okay, I don't know. I want to say it's a few days before and a few days after your period. Possibly. Um, I think it's during your period and yeah, so every 28 days, sometime during your period. I want to say it's before. I used to have this little thing on my phone. I used to say when I was ovulating, supposedly. I want to say like it's a few days before, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Is it? <laughs> I don't know the standard. I only care about myself. That is so selfish. Oh my gosh. And it'd be like either within a week or two weeks of your period. Because for me, it's two weeks. That's what I thought. Yeah, mine's two weeks before. I thought it was within a week or two weeks. Isn't it two weeks after your period? Correct! You're the only person that got it correct today. It happens on day 12 through 16, so yes, correct. Technically every 28 days. However, if I'm super stressed, that changes. Um, so yeah. Oh, is this not a correct answer? No. Wait, hold on. Ovulate. So when is your egg released every month? I haven't been trying to get pregnant. If, otherwise, I'd have one of those little ovulation charts that calculate and tell me, hey, honey, I'm ovulating. Today's the day. Right. Because we're very much so a society that knows information when you need it, like right. circumstantial information. Like, yes. Yeah. We yes. only yeah, Care inform about ourselves it. when mm -hmm. it affects us. Right. Exactly. Like, yeah. Whether it's positively or negatively. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Okay, welcome back to another edition of Girl Circle TV. So much for sex ed class, right? It was really, really interesting being on campus and asking these college women and even seeing their reaction when I asked them when they ovulate each month. We're all different. Some of us have a 21, 25, 28 day, even 30 day menstrual cycle. But assuming you're not on birth control, this is the deal. It means your egg gets released every month, ladies, from day 12 through day 16, this is the most fertile period of the month. Why do you care? Because if you don't use protection, you can get pregnant. So this just proves you could have all the sex ed in the world, but you know what? Women still struggle to give the right answer. And then we seek a lifeline in case we don't. But don't worry, because some grown ass women still don't know the answer either, until it becomes relevant in their lives and they're trying to start a family. And I think as humans, just that's how we're built. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you never, ever, ever miss one of my episodes. You can even check out my latest podcast episode on the Keep It 100 Girls show on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, TuneIn Radio, and Google Play Music. And this week I talk about the biological clock. Trust me, women don't take it seriously. And if you're in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, you might want to take a listen so you can be a little more proactive about your fertility. Lastly, you can head on over to ninabable.com and you know what? Sign up for any tips and tricks that are only available on my site. But that's going to be my reel for this week. Peace!